Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core. Today I am going to teach you how to uh, design compiled queries in ESP.NET Core using Entity Framework Core. Okay, so uh, compiled queries are used where we just uh, we just want to uh, faster than standard EF queries. Compiled queries are more performant than the standard EF queries. You know that because compiled queries use in memory cache. So um, faster 10x multiply by standard ef queries but not it's a performant for the everyone okay okay uh, so how to create the first thing is how to create a compiled query so uh, first of all create a data context for your uh, this is your data context that is the simple data context in esp.net i can do and here we have a departments uh, db set like that and just I want to know that there is a no need because just I want to get uh, I queryable data. So here we have a folder name that is the compiled query and that query name is my queries. Okay. So here we have a compiled query my queries. Okay. That is uh, static. So it's a my query. It's a static class. Now in the static class here we have a static function that is func and in which you can just define that is the function that is the get department by id that is the function name and here we have uh, the my db context that is the your data context name and that is the inputted data input parameter data you can say that that is the integer type and that is the written type uh, here we have a task department just i want to get uh, just i want to uh, written uh, a single department and the uh, function name is the get department by id so the compiled query is like that ef dot compiled asynchronous query just i want to return it back and here we have a uh, data context name and that is the context that is the reference and here we have an integer id so that is the input parameter okay so the query is context dot set that is the type of generic so context dot set department dot where so there is a no need of to create a db set right there okay so there is a no need okay so just save this and you can know that because here i'm using db set uh, so context dot set of department dot where uh, department dot id is similar to the parameter id and first of all just i want to get it here so here we have a asynchronous query where we just get the department by their id property now the same thing you can just use in the controller section so first of all uh, your db context is right there okay and initialize your db constructor in the controller uh, constructor and after that just i want to get a department uh, that is the action method and here we have a just just you can just call my queries so my queries dot get department by id in which you can just pass the context object as well as the id property so the id property is assigned one okay so just get the department like that so here we have just uh, written the compiled query so just create a static class a static field you can say that and written ef dot compiled async queries here we have and just use this class uh, my queries dot get department by id by using the function name just get get the code so here we have uh, ef dot compile async in asynchronous query why are uh, compiled queries faster? Uh, let's examine that uh, happens when we execute an EF link queries before EF can convert the query into valid SQL that can be executed in the database. It needs to compile the query. The compiled query is cached and EF will be able to reuse that cached query. In some situation, the query needs to be recompiled and you can say that performance cost is increased. So uh, when we explicitly compile the query by calling ef.compile query, we can utilize some optimization techniques that are not available at runtime. So compiled queries only improve the performance of the in-memory portion of executing an ef query. And you can say that it's a tremendous. So just I want to get it a department and just I want uh, get department where you can just say here we have single department on the basis of IT departments. So just use get a department. And you know that at get department, oops, get department is not there because uh, my controller name and what is that? Oops, get department is there. 
so just call it get department because the uh, because this type is not included in the model of the context okay so uh, my DB context so just need it here save this department is not included right there so okay and just use oops just restart this project and uh, again just we call it because lots of uh, context is used as actually department so just getting an error message which is related to the departments so wait for some times i will uh, clear it all these things so here we have a department and here i'm going to just use the department and just after call the get department you will notice that your contexts will call and here we have a department like that and here we have a single department that is it and one okay so that is the compiled query so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to use compiled queries thank you very much and simple to design a static class and a static function like that. If you want to get uh, inimitable double department, so there is the compiled query, compiled asynchronous query. That's it. It's nothing to add anything uh, else in, in your queries. So thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos.